today I'm going to be doing a highly requested video which is another of my top 10 under 10 series. Now if you haven't seen one of these videos before it's basically where I talk about my 10 favourite things that you can buy for under £10 and if you are based in the US not the UK that's about $15 elsewhere you'll have to look it up because I can't list everybody's currencies. So this video is going to be my top 10 lip products under £10. I was going to divide them up into lipsticks, glosses, balms, things like that, um, but I decided just to smush them all together and do a bit of a mixed bag, otherwise it's a bit of overkill, I think. So starting off with lipsticks, I have two favourite lipsticks that you can buy for under £10, and they're actually both from the same brand, which is Rimmel. Now, in my opinion, Rimmel absolutely own it on the high street for... Um, affordable lipsticks and the first ones that I absolutely love, I'm going to talk about specific colours but um, mainly formulations because obviously different colours don't suit kind of different skin tones and things like that. So my first one that I absolutely love is the Rimmel by Kate Moss nude lipstick in number three. All of the lipsticks in this range are really beautiful, they're a really creamy lovely formula um, but the nude is a particularly good nude for me, I really like it and like I said the Kate by Rimmel lipsticks are really, really lovely. So my other lipstick choice is also from Rimmel, and this is one of their Moisture Renew lipsticks. Now, these are a fairly old line. I believe they've reformulated them in the last kind of month or six weeks. Um, they've reformulated all of the line, and they've also introduced new colours. This is a new colour called As You Want Victoria. It's a gorgeous kind of fuchsia, but it does tilt towards more of a red. It's not too pink. I really, really love this kind of colour. The formula of these is super moisturising. They really, really feel like a balm. The only disadvantage to these is that they can get a bit smudgy because they are so moisturising. They're not like matte on your lips and they don't kind of stick in the same spot. Um, so that is the Moisture and New Lipstick. In terms of glosses, my first favourite gloss under £10 is from NYX. And this is the colour natural, but in this instance I'm not really talking about a specific colour. All of these glosses are so lovely. The formula of them is delicious and creamy and thick, but they're not sticky and they smell like sweeties. They smell like fake cherry smell. It's so good. Some of the colours are a bit iffy, some of them tend to be a little bit shimmery, but in general the whole of this line is absolutely lovely. They are the Mega Shine lip gloss. They do have a few different kinds of lip gloss, but the Mega Shine ones are by far the best ones with the bows on the end. Really, really lovely and very affordable. And then my other favourite gloss is from L'Oreal. This is one of their Glam Shines, and this is from a limited edition candy collection. Um, I can't even remember the name of it, if I'm honest. Here it is, Tarte Lollipop. Um, but in general, I just really love these glosses because they are really not sticky, they smell nice, they apply nicely, they're just a really kind of nice gloss, especially if you're going to put one over the top of a lipstick. I don't really wear gloss on their own very much, um, but these are really, really lovely and they just are nice to apply. The applicator is this kind of like doe foot but slightly flexible, almost heart shaped one and just yeah, really, really nice. I love these, I think they're some of the best on the high street when you're looking at lip glosses. Moving on to lip lacquers. Another product from Rimmel is the Rimmel Apocalypse Lip Lacquers. I've spoken about these products a lot, but they are really, really wonderful. These are actually called the Show Off, um, or Show Offs in the States, not Apocalypse, but they are the exact same product. These have incredible pigmentation. They last all day long. And they dry, not to a matte finish, but it is a very kind of lipstick, almost satiny finish, and they just last for absolutely ages. You can eat in them. Fantastic and amazing for their price as well. Another thing that is an absolute bargain um, for the price is the L'Oreal. I forget what these are called. They're the dupes for the YSL glossy stain. YSL is actually owned by L'Oreal, so this product is pretty much exactly the same, I'm willing to bet. They are very, very similar. The colour selection in the L'Oreal line isn't as nice as in the YSL. However, this is a really beautiful colour. This is Infinite Fuchsia. There are a few other ones. The red is really nice in this line as well. These, again, are incredible, long-lasting. These are a lot more glossy than the Apocalypse ones, but they last and last and last. They are quite sticky. They're kind of like a stain that you build up. I put about three coats of these on to achieve the kind of desired effect, that really glossy, really, really pigmented colour. Um, but they are incredible. They will stay on all day with a few top-ups. Absolutely amazing. For lip crayons, it will come as no surprise that I'm including my Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker, which has... This has seen some action, this lip gloss. Um, all of the writing is coming off. This is Nudist. The 
most perfect nude glossy balm. It tastes like vanilla. I love the colour and I wear this absolutely all the time. It is my favourite, favourite, favourite. Another thing that I'm loving, this is the fourth product out of ten by Rimmel, it's the last one I promise, um, is the new Colour Rush Lip Balm. And no, this video is not sponsored by Rimmel, they just do really good lip products. These are new, they just came out this month. Again, they are gorgeously scented. They actually smell very, very similar to the Soap and Glory ones. They have that real candy vanilla scent, which I love. These are a bit more of a lipstick type texture. They're not quite as pigmented as a lipstick. They are a lip balm, but they are just really lovely. The colour selection is really nice. This is the red colour, which is um, the redder the better, which is one of my favourites. I also love the kind of your lips but better colour, which I can't remember the name of, but the nude one is really nice as well, and the fuchsia one is nice. I've done a full review of these along with all the different colour swatches on my blog, which I will link below along with any other blog reviews that I've done on these products because I do do very close up kind of lip swatches of all the colours so I will link anything relevant below if you guys want to go and check that out on my blog and last but not least for lip balms I have two favourite lip balms um, the first one is another product from Soap and Glory and this is their A Great Kisser um, I think it has a name, it's the peach one but I can't remember exactly what it's called. It's the peach flavoured lip balm. This is very much a gloss balm hybrid. It smells amazing, like peach sweeties. I absolutely love it. And it's also a really good one to put on um, over the top of highly pigmented lipstick to give it a more kind of milky look. If you put a lip colour on, like the one I'm wearing now, and you decide it's a little bit bright for you, you can pop a little bit of this on and it will kind of make it a little bit creamier, add a little bit of white to it. My other favourite lip balm is another new one. This is from Lana Lips. Now, I've loved Lana Lips for a long time. I absolutely love their lemonade lip balm. But the newest one they've brought out is called the Banana Balm. If you like bananas or banana milkshake, then this one is a amazing it's so yummy um, but it's also a little bit more glossy it's got a little bit of shimmer in it so it looks really pretty on the lips and it tastes like bananas so you can't really get much better in my opinion I absolutely love it and that is it for my top 10 under 10 let me know if you guys enjoyed this video I really hope you did if you have any requests of other top 10 under 10 videos that you would like to see on this channel then let me know in the comment section below and until my next video guys I will see you very soon bye and welcome back. Today is Friday. I hope you have all had a fantastic week. The weekend is finally here. This week I have been